Hi, welcome to this part, part 21 of this playlist. We are looking at AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification Real Questions. So in this video, we will cover questions linked with these three topics, that is cloud trail, cost optimization, and application security. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the like button, please. Subscribe and like helps me understand the pulse of the audience so that I can prepare some more informative content. Do not forget to refer the previous parts of this playlist for previous questions. Let's jump into this question. So we all know that there is a shared responsibility model. If you go on AWS, there is a shared responsibility model wherein certain tasks AWS will do, but certain tasks you will have to do. You will have to do. So here they are asking out of these four tasks, which task you have to do as a client. AWS will not do it for you. So A, B, both are wrong because see virtualization infrastructure means usage of hypervisor, etc. Whatever controlling of hypervisor, those things, AWS will do it for you. Okay. Similarly, network infrastructure like AWS might be using in the background Cisco for network infrastructure or any other a company so d talks about physical security of the hardware this is wrong because the physical security of the hardware aws will take care of it like putting a security watchman outside the data center etc or whatever the physical security is required for hardware that is something which aws will do it for you so application security is what where you would be responsible for maintaining that because it is your application you own the security piece you understand if there are what levels of security is required for example encryption at rest or encryption at transit and so on needless to say you will have to implement iam to integrate with the uh, user directories and you will have to may I use uh, a minimum like some best practices like minimum uh, access policy so doing all of these things is your responsibility. AWS will not do it for you. So this is my final answer. Let us move to the next question. See out of these four options, which one will be helpful for cost optimization? Like paying only for what is used, is this helpful? Yes, it is helpful because that is what AWS cloud is meant for any cloud platform, any cloud platform, you pay as you go. Okay, so you pay only for what you use and that is why you get cost optimization so that is one thing that, that looks correct now b says purchasing hardware before it is needed you never purchase hardware here aws already has the hardware here aws already has the hardware here in the on-premises world you are purchasing hardware in aws you never purchase hardware in the cloud world you never purchase hardware manually provisioning cloud resources so you do not so provisioning cloud resources if you do manual provisioning, it will not save cost. Okay, whether you provision manually or automate the provision, that resource will utilize uh, resources and will be chargeable, like EC2 instance. Even if you manually provision it, instead of using auto scaling group, it is chargeable. Even RDS database or Redshift database. If you manually create that database and provision it, it is still chargeable. If you automatically provision it, it is still chargeable. So this cannot be used as a cost optimization lever. So both B and uh, C are wrong. Now D says purchasing for maximum possible load. So this will increase the cost it will not decrease the cost because what you are doing is in see for your personal use maybe a uh, toyota corolla is good enough okay it's a sedan car it's good for four to five people but what you are doing is you're thinking oh you know what my in-laws and my parents might come they might visit my place for 10 days in a year so just for those 10 days 
instead of renting a car from Zoom cars or Hertz and etc., I will make my life difficult. I will buy a big car, a seven-seater car, and just for that ten days, I will drive that big car and spend more petrol for the whole year because this is the stupid decision you take. This option is as stupid as that. That you are thinking that I will have very very big workloads, very big workloads, and instead of even if your workload just requires three EC2 engines, you will provision 30 and operate with that. So will it save your cost? It will increase your cost drastically. So D is totally wrong. This option is totally wrong. It will increase the cost. So this is the final answer. See, you know, in microservices architecture, you are using a lot of APIs. Now you want to know uh, in that kind of architecture, it is very relevant. You want to know, did someone make an illegal API call? Somebody was not authorized to make that API call. Suppose there is an API call which gives details about how much uh, this per a person has purchased on the credit card. Now what happens is some illegal call is made and any bad players can now know okay you have made this dollar transaction two days back and that data is decent or good enough to hack they call the call center and as you and they will try to act as if they are the actual customers so you want to monitor anything that you want to monitor anything you want to monitor cloud trail monitoring means cloud trail see aws configuration okay aws config if you had ec2 instance running on red hat platform and after a month of operation somebody killed that instance and created a new ec2 instance with a windows operating system if you want to know the details of what this configuration why it changed when it changed then you can use this but the question is not asking about configuration changes question is asking about monitoring api calls that means api calls monitoring means monitoring an activity any activity you have to monitor use cloud trail use cloud trail okay and trusted advisor will help you improve the security posture of your uh, infrastructure it will give you recommendations that hey you know what uh, in order to improve your security of your application you should use WAF it will recommend use WAF or it will also recommend that hey you know use AWS Macy because in S3 buckets there might be a lot of documents which has SPI or PII data that is personal identifiable information so do we have that requirement here trusted advisor is it is this asking about security it is asking about monitoring so C is wrong and D says use inspector see inspector always it is a vulnerability management solution what it means is it always keeps looking for it always keeps looking for bad players who are bad players hackers bad players one example so if someone is putting a SQL injection it will monitor that okay it will always look and it will try to say that hey you know we need to prevent these guys getting in but here we have to monitor illegal api calls that means it is an activity so cloud trail is my answer this is my final answer so folks please hit the subscribe and the like button it takes a lot of effort to put these contents free of cost so only thing i'm requesting is subscribe and like do ensure that you have gone through the previous parts 
of this playlist. If you have already cleared this certification, please proceed to two playlists on this channel, which is based on AWS Solution Architect Associate certifications. Both those playlists are relevant. See, in the cloud world, there are no questions which are old questions. Do not ask, is, are these questions still relevant? Boss, everything is still relevant because AWS itself is relevant. Do not ask these questions. It will be only irrelevant if, suppose AWS says EC2 instance, it is EC2 service, I'm doing away with. Nobody is making that call. So if you know EC2 instance, uh, EC2 is a part of the syllabus, then all questions are still relevant. Then why do we even care whether questions are relevant? Practice, focus on the concepts. Practice makes a man perfect. Practice also makes a woman perfect because a woman would feel bad about this. Why only man? So this brings us to the end of this part. We have covered questions linked with these three topics. See you in the next part.